From its debut in 1984 to its many shows and projects today, Akira Tariyama's Dragon Ball is one of the most recognizable franchises that exist today. An adaptation of the fairy tale Journey to the West, Dragon Ball has an appeal that has made it become mainstream. Although Goku's journey to become the strongest didn't stop at pages and TV series, however. As far back as the 1980s, Dragon Ball had games on the Japanese NES, with Dragon Ball's gaming franchise being long lasting. Goku has a gaming presence as long as The Legends of Zelda, and while game rights are Bandai Namco's, many developers have created games from the Dragon Ball franchise. But of its entire gaming library, which Dragon Ball games are the best, and has the greatest critical reception? And that's where we come in as we'll be taking a list from Metacritic, looking at the top 10 best Dragon Ball games of all time, ranging from Dragon Ball all the way up to Dragon Ball Super. And of course, if you do like these types of videos and you would like to see some more top 10 countdowns, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like the video. We do also stream over on Twitch, I will leave all the links within the description box below. And with all that said, let's get into the list. These are the top 10 best Dragon Ball games of all time. Number 10, Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors. Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors for the Game Boy Advance was a 2D fighter that brought the series flight to the fighting game formula. It had a sequel on the DS, and featured both characters from the Dragon Ball anime and the movies. The other appeal of the series was its story, and like other games, it featured campaigns that went over the Z's major arcs. A unique concept about this game is that it featured what-if campaigns that have completely new scenarios. At the time, another exciting feature was the ability to play with your friends via link cable, with the first game developers being the Arc System Works, who have other great Dragon Ball entries. Number 9, Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans. Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans initially appeared par for the course as it retells an arc from the anime, but in actual fact is actually quite unique, being a turn-based RPG. The leveling up system fits right in with Dragon Ball's focus on training, so it's kind of strange that more games didn't take this approach. Since the developers were RPG experts, the game fits very well into the genre. True Dragon Ball fans may not like the liberties that Attack of the Saiyans takes with the story, but it does show the Dragon Ball universe in a completely new way. The Z anime doesn't take time for exploration, which makes the Saiyans' use of exploration quite unique. Bonus Bonuses from the series are hidden around the map, and although this DS game didn't receive a sequel, it remains one of Dragon Ball's biggest admirers. It remains a very much loved title from the Dragon Ball series. Number 8. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi the Budokai Tenkaichi games are often thought about as being the pinnacle of Dragon Ball Z games. Released on PlayStation 2 and Wii, this game has arena fighters that allows players to fly around and throw ki blasts in open areas. One of this game's biggest features is its rosters full of both canon and non-canon Dragon Ball characters. The roster of this game was pretty enormous, having a total of 161 characters, and while there were repeats and transformations, it had the largest roster in a fighting game at that moment in time. This made Budokai Tenkaichi games perfect for recreating those Dream Dragon Ball Z fight moments. Number 7. Dragon Ball Advance Adventure Dragon Ball Advance Adventure was a platformer brawler on the Game Boy Advance, with the Game Boy Advance having many excellent brawlers like Astro Boy, Omega Factor, and this Dragon Ball title to name a few. It had surprisingly deep combat and secrets to uncover, for example you could unlock and play as Krillin. The biggest appeal it had was the title's lack of Z, a rarity for Dragon Ball games, and the Advance Adventure adapted the manga's earliest parts. Most games recreated the arcs of Z so it's refreshing to see the original series get a bit of love. Finishing a game with a battle against King Piccolo was certainly one that a lot of fans really enjoyed. Number 6. Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku 2 Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku is an action RPG similar to The Legends of Zelda. It retells a Cell Saga with 5 playable characters and has large maps. The second and best in the Legacy of Goku series, it featured balanced combat that used alternating buttons to use various techniques within the game. Despite being called Legacy of Goku, it focused on Dragon Ball fan favorite Gohan. It also introduced transformations and was western developed, being based on funny animations dub and using Bruce Falconer's score. This Dragon Ball titan made it a western favorite, although unfortunately the next in the series Boo's Fury was not received well at all. Number 5. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 
This PlayStation 2 fighter is one of the series' most feature-packed games. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 does a great job at mimicking the fighters of the series. Fans in this game could replicate transformations, beam struggles, fusions, and even more. This game had a roster full of characters from all the franchise entries, including Dragon Ball GT. It was also a major release having bonus features in the mid-2000s, and it also claimed that the game would feature a Japanese audio track and soundtrack, which at the time was pretty hard to find in the West. Unfortunately though, the initial American release of this game did not have these features, and Atari eventually released an unmarked corrected version, but regardless of that, Budokai 3 still remains an excellent game. Number 4. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot A New Power Awakens Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was released on many different consoles, the Nintendo Switch version being the best since it came with downloadable content. Another retelling story, Kakarot breaks the mold similar to Attack of the Saiyans. Kakarot is an open world RPG that brings more exploration elements to the forefront with this open world approach to the Dragon Ball universe. By far the biggest plus to this game is its additional content, as this game allows for newer and fresher stories, retelling the events of the films, Battle of the Gods and Resurrection F. Seeing these arcs adapted in the game was exciting for fans, and the fighting game influence combat keeps the gameplay interesting. Number 3. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Dragon Ball Xenoverse was one of the series largest release, with Xenoverse and its sequel being juggernauts in the game sales. This game comes with character creator mode that puts your original character in an online world. The excellent graphics and fighting mechanics made it feel like that you're actually in the anime. This game didn't only just do a great job of recreating the feel of the anime, but the time travel story allows for both retelling of popular sagas and also adding a new dimension of different types of stories. Author Toriyama created several characters for the Xenoverse games, which alone have become pretty popular by themselves. In fact, the Xenoverse story has started a line of spin-offs, which alone with this creates a lot more content for players to play through. Number 2. Dragon Ball Origins Also known as Dragon Ball DS, Dragon Ball Origins was an action-adventure game on the Nintendo DS, and similar to how Legacy of Goku was much like Zelda, this game plays out very much the same, however just in a Dragon Ball format. This game was controlled mainly by the stylus and the touchscreen, like many games that hit the Nintendo DS. In this game Bulma featured prominently as Capsule Corp's main inventor, although not a fighter due to lacking combat skills. In this game of Origins, players must use Goku for combat and Bulma for solving puzzles. This action took place between two screens, which for at the time was a DS hallmark. This game was a landmark in itself, as most games that featured after this one later on ended up using Toriyama's art style. Number 1. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is a game fans had been waiting for, and Arc System Works, known for excellent fighters like Guilty Gear, took center stage with this entry. The studio was well known for its excellent licensed games, including Super Sonic Warriors, and with that an art style that matched the manga perfectly and with excellent balanced combat. It fit the hyper-fast fighting niche, attracting series fans and fighting fans. At the time of this game's release, the recent vs Capcom title had been underperforming, so when Fighter Z was released, it fit perfectly into that niche with the high energy fighting. This game also had downloadable content, and while it didn't have a very large roster, it had great mechanics and visuals that gave it a long-lasting popularity. Even now, fans are still waiting for more content, as its excellent production and fan devotion makes it the best Dragon Ball game of all time. And so there you pretty much have it, that was the top 10 best Dragon Ball games of all time according to Metacritic. So what did you think of the list? Do you agree with this top 10? Or perhaps that you feel that there's a game not on this list that should have been included? If so, do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. And of course, if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10 videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like the video. I'll also leave some more top 10 videos at the end of this video if you would like to check them out. Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you all next time.